Imagine you're a young, ambitious salesperson just a few years out of college and still navigating the complexities of the sales world. Every morning, you wake up with a mix of excitement and anxiety, knowing that your day will be filled with phone calls, meetings, and the ever-present pressure to close deals. You've read all the classic sales books, attended seminars, and watched countless hours of training videos, but something still isn't clicking. One particularly hot July day, you find yourself standing outside a potential client's office, sweat trickling down your back. You're armed with your pitch, a polished presentation, and a smile that's beginning to feel more like a grimace. The day drags on with polite rejections and half-hearted promises to think it over. By evening, you're mentally and physically exhausted, questioning if sales is really the right path for you. As you head back to your car, defeated, you remember a recent sales training video you watched in the 21 Commandments of Influence program? The speaker, Tiger Toledo, had a different approach, one that resonated with you. He talked about the essence of selling being change and how people inherently resist change, preferring the comfort of the familiar. His words echo in your mind. All sales are about one thing only, and that's change. Determined to try something new, you decide to adopt Tiger's strategies the next day. Instead of pushing your product's features and benefits, you focus on understanding your client's needs, their pain points, and what drives them. You remember Tiger's advice to become a problem finder and problem solver, not a product pusher. The next morning, you sit down with your first client, a middle-aged couple looking to increase their life insurance coverage. Instead of launching into your pitch, you start with a simple, empathetic question. What made you decide that now is the time to look for more coverage? The couple looks surprised at first, but then they begin to open up. They share their fears about financial security for their children and their desire to ensure a stable future. You listen intently, nodding and asking thoughtful questions that help them articulate their concerns more clearly. You realize that by shifting the focus from your product to their needs, the conversation feels more natural, more like a partnership than a sales pitch. You guide them gently, helping them visualize the peace of mind that comes with having adequate coverage. The transformation is almost magical. For the first time, you see a genuine connection forming. By the end of the meeting, the couple is not only ready to buy a policy, but they also express gratitude for your understanding and guidance. They feel heard and valued, not sold to. As they sign the paperwork, you feel a rush of satisfaction and relief. This isn't just about closing a deal. It's about making a difference in people's lives. Over the next few weeks, you continue to refine your approach, embracing Tiger's teachings more fully. You find that clients respond positively to your sincerity and your willingness to put their needs first. Your sales numbers begin to climb. But more importantly, you build relationships based on trust and mutual respect. Reflecting on your journey, you realize that the key to successful selling isn't in the hard sell or the flashy presentations. It's in understanding that selling is about change and helping people feel comfortable with that change. It's about being a guide, a problem solver, and a trusted advisor. And as you embrace this philosophy, you find not only professional success, but a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment in your work. If you enjoyed this story on selling, I have a secret gift for you. Simply go to tigertoledo.com forward slash secret to claim your free gift today. Till next time, shine bright.